Here at South Bend Organics, we help growers find effective natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong, secure, and successful as possible. You all remember the days when poultry paws had more value, but in recent years they've become less important. Projections from 2019 November say around 1 billion pounds of chicken paws will head to China in 2020, potentially selling at 87 cents a pound. That means integrators will be paying extra attention to paws and could prove to be more lucrative. If that's not reason enough to focus on paw health, there are a lot of other problems caused by sore paws that can translate to your bottom line. That's why today we're going to focus on the floors. Where does paw health start? If you watched our series on wind rowing, you have heard us say a healthy floor is a healthy bird. Moisture and litter can wreak havoc on your poultry house and create a ton of health problems for the birds. High moisture can lead to many physical problems like breast blisters, which are bad for scoring at the processing plant. Bacteria love moisture. It helps the bad stuff like clostridium, which causes dermatitis and enteritis, multiply quickly and take over natural defenses, which can lead to all kinds of illness and disease outbreak. This is where burned feet find their cause. Foot pad dermatitis, also called ammonia burn or scald, is almost exclusively caused by the corrosive effects of wet litter. If you have seen foot pad dermatitis in your house, you know it causes necrotic lesions, blistering scabs, on the bottom of the paws. When I get a blister or cut on my foot, I know I'm not as interested in playing a basketball game or going on a run. While that might sound like something you'd hear from an animal activist, the truth is that sore feet keep birds from moving, which makes them less likely to move to eat or drink. Less food and drink translates into lower weights and lower performance. Keeping floors dry and bird paws healthy helps grow bigger birds and paychecks, no matter if China buys a single paw. So, if one of the easiest ways to achieve a healthy floor is to keep it dry, we need to look at what causes wet litter. Nipple overflow, like Jason talked about in last week's video, water usage and water consumption are two different things. Birds' beaks can only hold so much water. Any excess goes onto the floor, so monitoring water at the nipple will help keep your floor dry. Improper ventilation, leaky water lines, and poor drainage from storm runoff can also create wet litter. These are things that require plain old manual labor to fix. Southland Organics would not be much of a help in these areas without coming and staying for dinner, which we can do. Where we can help is in the more difficult causes of moisture in the house, the biggest being waste. Runny, liquidy droppings are a huge challenge to keeping floors not only dry but healthy. They're packed with harmful bacteria, and when they're loose, that bacteria runs rampant, especially when the litter has high moisture already. Tightening bird's guts can help. Take a look at our Scoop on Poop video. If you haven't seen it yet for tips on how to tighten your bird's guts and help them make the most of their feed they're eating. Managing litter is the key to a dry floor. There are a lot of different approaches to litter management in the industry. You can clean out, cake out, windrow, see our four part video here, but all of those happen between flocks. What can you do with litter when you have birds? The key to litter decomposition and drying those floors, even with birds in the house, is maintaining proper carbon to nitrogen ratio. Carbon and nitrogen are part of nature's design to turn things that are dead into something that can be used as life-giving fuel. Carbon naturally occurs as part of the decomposition process. It helps convert elements that cannot be used on their own, like nitrogen, into food for plants. Litter is packed with nitrogen. That's why some people want it to fertilize plants. But 
with the consistent flow of nitrogen in a poultry house, it's hard for natural processes to decompose the litter at a rate that keeps the carbon balance needed for healthy floors. Our product Litter Life adds biologically active organic carbon and organic acids to help the ratio and help accelerate the decomposition process. This accelerated process of breaking litter down naturally keeps moisture from building up and it doesn't have to be just wet from the litter even in the cases of condensation and water accumulation from lines. Litter Life helps greatly in drying the litter floor. If you need help with litter moisture management or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 1-800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. And don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help you keep your farm healthy. Music